Uh, earlier today, as many of you saw, the president and the vice president received an update regarding Hurricane Helene response and recovery efforts. Under their leadership, FEMA has provided $344 million in direct assistance to survivors, along with an additional $180 million to ensure our federal partners can carry out their critical recovery work. More than 8,000 federal personnel are deployed, including FEMA disaster survivor assistant teams that are in the neighborhood, in, the, in neighborhoods across the affected states, helping survivors apply for assistance. These personnel across the Southeast, including Florida, will both continue Hurricane Helene recovery efforts and respond to the impacts of Hurricane Milton. As the President has said, we will be there for the communities devastated by the storm for as long as it takes. The President and the Vice President received a briefing on the administration's life-saving preparations ahead of Hurricane Milton. The President uh, continues to mobilize a whole-of-government effort to prepare for Hurricane Milton. Earlier this week, the President quickly approved the state of Florida, Florida's and the, and the, and the Seminole tribe of Florida's request for an emergency declaration pre-Milton landfall. He directed his team to keep working to increase the size and presence of our efforts as we prepare for Milton's landfall. The President spoke directly to Governor DeSantis, Tampa Mayor Castor, Clearwater Mayor Rector, and Pinellas County Chairwoman Peters to make sure we are meeting their needs and gave them his personal number so they can call him directly. As the President's, at the President's direction, the administration has been in touch with more than 60 local officials in cities and counties along the likely path of impact to ensure needs are met in advance of the storm. The President gathered his cabinet representing 16 agencies and departments to ensure every corner of the U.S. government is assisting with Helene recovery and preparations for Milton. And at the President's direction, FEMA administration, Administrator Criswell will travel to Florida tonight to join the, pers the personnel on the ground and ensure every Floridian gets the help that they need. FEMA is pre-staging a full slate of response capabilities in Florida and the region, including eight urban search and rescue teams, three U.S. Coast Guard swift water rescue teams, 15.6 million meals, 13.9 million liters of water already pre-positioned, an additional 20 million meals and 40 million liters of water ready to deploy as needed. More than 1,000 staff already in the region. And as the President and the Vice President have said, any attempts to price gouge Americans, whether at the gas pumps, airport, or hotel counter during the st storm are unacceptable. The Justice Department, FTC, and Consumer Financial Protection Bureau put out a statement warning consumers about those looking to take advantage of natural disasters. The administration will also continue to work out, to, to work out and call out misinformation and conspiracy theories around the storm and federal and state responses. This is wrong, dangerous, and it must stop immediately. You heard the President speak to this just moments ago. Everyone especially those in positions of power, must do everything they can to encourage survivors to register for assistance, not discourage them by allowing these falsehoods to fester. This storm will be catastrophic. It will be catastrophic. We urge everyone to listen to local officials, and if you are told to evacuate, do so. Please do so immediately. If you can't evacuate or need a safe place to shelter, text shelter and your zip code to 43362 to get a list of open shelters near you.